right, check that market again, please. Uh, a lot of red ink all over the place, especially the Nasdaq, down over 1%. David Barton, though, is with us now. Uh, I want to talk to you about uh, President Biden, the CNN town hall last night. He says, spend, spend, spend. You've got to spend big. I would have thought that was good for the stock market, at least in the initial, in the, in, in the next few months. No. No, and I, I've tried to make this point in the past that the yeah, yeah. one thing the market has not cared about much throughout all of this is the fiscal stimulus side. You recall we went all summer thinking a fiscal deal was coming, not getting it. All fall, not getting it. We didn't actually get that $900 billion deal till over a month after the election. But in the meantime, eight months had gone by between these two bills. The market was up five or 6,000 points. It's now up another few thousand points. I, I think that so much of what's going to happen from this bill, Stuart, is misallocated capital. It isn't that the market is all worried about it. Markets don't care that much about the fiscal deficits yet. However, this isn't a bill that is going to go prime the economy like the, the um, PPP program, which was targeted towards small businesses. This, frankly, is a lot of direct payments to people that already have a trillion and a half dollars of uh, excess savings. And then you have um, a lot of money going directly to states, it, more money going than their lost revenues from COVID yeah. into really mismanaged states like California and New York. So I just don't think that the fiscal stimulus bill that he's proposing is something markets are that excited about. I think it's all politics, and I think it will make President Biden more popular because he's just chucking the money out there. It's a setup for 2022, isn't it? Yes, but you know what, Stuart? I have to say, okay, and I apologize because I know some viewers are not going to like this, but because I'm on the right. I'm a conservative Republican. Mm -hmm. But the problem is we can't say anything right now about them spending excessively because we were putting up with such gigantic deficits under Republican control for so long. So we've lost a lot of that moral authority, unfortunately. Fiscal management cannot be something we only care about when the other party's in charge. I agree that this is 2022 popularity driven. They're saying some really weird things like we're just willing to err on the side of excess. You know, a trillion here, a trillion there. Pretty soon you're talking about real money. This is silly. But unfortunately, we need people that are serious no matter who's in office. And we don't have it. And we're going to spend a ton of money and we're going to print it too. David, thanks for joining us as always. I know we'll see you again soon. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yes, sir.